What's up everyone, welcome to the 10th episode of my top 10 lease in plays. Be sure to stick around till the end to hear about a giveaway I'm doing for my channel, but without further ado, let's jump into the number 10 spot. Capturing this week's number 10 spot is a play submitted by Road. As they 5 man mid to take down the tower, Road has his sights set on playmaking here as he steps up, lands the sonic wave onto Lux, and then prances sideways for the never safe insect, catching out the Caitlyn and turning Lux cross-eyed. Let's play that back. And at this week's number 9 spot, a play submitted by What the Pro. Minding his own business, clearing his jungle, the enemy Kha'Zix tries to step into his territory as he last hits the Gromp and begins to assess the situation further. But with Darius roaming up, he takes the resonating strike and passes off the bug to Darius. But the Kha'Zix has flash, so he throws the Q prediction over the wall to squash the bug and mark his territory. And at the number 8 spot this week, a play submitted by Tithug. Looking for the Q over the wall, he finally gets it to execute the Raka, but with low health bars on him and Blitzcrank, the enemy Hecarim looks for some scraps, so he visualizes the play and then turns around with the Sonic Wave Kick Flash for the knockup on Caitlyn, following it up with the Resonating Strike as he melts both targets for the 3 for 0. Moving on to the number 7 spot, we actually have a tie between Grill Steph and Naloxi. Heading down bot lane, he confidently ward hops in and predicts the arcane shift with Sonic Wave, finishing off the Ezreal and then kicking the Alawi back into tower for the easy double. And similar to the last play, he ward hops over the wall to bait out the arcane shift as he predicts it with Sonic Wave and then kick flashes him into his Draven for the easy pickup. And moving on to this week's number 6 spot, a play submitted by OVO. He walks headstrong into a 1v3 situation and without hesitation goes in with the kick flash dodging the Jin snare and getting the collateral, claiming his first kill and then his second right after as he turns his attention to Jin. As the GP ult comes down to his system and he flashes the sonic wave, but that doesn't stop him. He ward hops under tower to take out the Jin, but he still isn't done yet as he looks to disrupt the enemy jungler at Krugs. And Wukong decides to contest, but this proves to be unwise as Lee Sin applies the red buff and then sticks to him for the fourth kill of the play. And he survives with the ward hop as he completes the 4 for 0 play. And that brings us to our top 5 for this week and the number 5 spot goes to H3 Riven. As his team makes their final push for the Nexus, he lands the Sonic Wave onto Poppy and sees an opportunity to make a play as he goes in and ward hops behind her. As we freeze it, we see the Zerath in his Zonias completely cut out and as we resume the footage, watch him use the Dragon's Rage to predict the Zerath Flash and claim the kill with the collateral damage. That was either extremely lucky or extremely well played. Either way, it lands its spot in the top 5. And this week's number 4 spot is a nasty 1v1 outplay on Riven, submitted by Galarita. Riven looks for the all-in here as she pops her ult and looks to jump on him, forcing him to kick her away, but that doesn't deter a Riven as she lands the knockup, but he flashes to the side to dodge the wind slash and turns around with the Q smite, landing the sonic wave and proccing Thunderlords for the massive 1v1 outplay. <laughs> This week's number 3 play of the week was a play submitted by I'm Actually Blind. The enemy bot lane and jungler are disengaging as he gap closes for the final auto on Nami and then Flash Q predicts the Ezreal which also puts him behind the Elise for the easy kick back into his team allowing him to pick up the triple kill. Picture perfect Lee Sin IQ. And claiming the number two play of the week was a play submitted by Taberu. 
After landing his Q on Thresh, he decides to go for the big play as he flies in. Warthop to Sona and kick flashes for the double collateral, executing Thresh and allowing Yasuo to alt the vein for the instant two for zero. But Sona does manage to escape the Yasuo with Flash, but as we fast forward the clip, we see Sona recalling under tower, so Lee Sin looks to land the Miracle Q as he Warthop Flash Qs into the Fog of War and snipes her out for the kill. A beautiful display of confidence. <laughs> And this week's number one Lee Sin play of the week goes to Slingshot. He's getting engaged on by both Vi and Echo as he dangles the Vault Breaker and then comes back in just to dangle the Echo, landing the Kick Flash for extra damage, allowing him to 1v1 the Echo as the Vi Vault Breaker comes off cooldown, so he retreats away, but Vi disengages, so he turns back around with the Sonic Wave Snipe, instantly warthopping to escape auto attack range from Jin, but Jin still has ultimate up, so it's time for even more footwork as he dodges the first one and the second and the third, he gets hit by the fourth, but it doesn't matter because he stays alive as he walks out and flashes that mastery rightfully so. Now, as I said at the beginning of this video, I've partnered up with my sponsor, Haste, and we're giving away a Corsair gaming mouse and $50 of RP if you guys want to get in on this and potentially win one of those prizes. Simply go down into the description and click on the link titled Haste Giveaway and follow the steps to enter. The winners will be chosen on March 12th. And now for this week's bonus clip, a play I titled, So Close to Greatness. Thank you guys so much for watching the top 10 this week. As I play the honorable mentions, just your friendly reminder to submit your lease in plays to Heisman Submit at Hotmail.com in .mp4 format. Now, I didn't receive quite as many lease in fails as I'd hoped to, so I guess we'll be sticking to the normal format for now. Also, guys, don't forget to turn on notifications on YouTube, which can be done by clicking the bell icon next to the subscribe button on this video and checking the box to turn on notifications. If you enjoy my content and you want to support my channel, this is important because the subfolder sometimes doesn't display all the videos it should be. So this is the best way to ensure you see my uploads. But that's it for me. Enjoy the rest of the clips. Until next time. doing well happy birthday to my pops it was yesterday but still counts um black pasty records my name is e double i hope everyone's doing well if you haven't copped the mixtape written thursday.com yeah what's up everybody my name is e double and this is black pasty here we go yeah. I'm at the bar in my jeans and the shirt I got from Target Talking to some pretty ladies, said their blouse is from the forest I said, great, I don't make clothes, but I can probably make those Unravel simple stitches when I cut my fucking beat No house, no ceilings outside Old buildings looking like an indie picture that they made for the kids But this kid ain't having it, cause roofs have advantages I really ain't a fan of all this rain in my drink so dump it out and grab a fresh John on 
into the next one. Cup one is over. I am feeling upper echelon. Mistakes have been made and my attitude is shitty. But that's not reason enough to have this party turn pity. So we owe until the sunrise. Loose ends untied. Hands stay dumb high. Sipping on that Mumbai. Shin and time. Squeeze the wheels. Lemon.